Right now, the FBI is partnering with Minneapolis police to curb the violent crime surrounding George Floyd Square. It's become an anti-cop autonomous zone. Joining us now is Horace Cooper, co-chair of Project 21. Horace, it's no surprise Minneapolis police will need help here, especially ahead of the expected chaos as this trial gets underway. Do you expect a repeat of last summer's riots? Well, here's the thing. We've seen no evidence over a hundred year span that when the crowd, when the mob decides that they're going to determine whether or not a trial is going to take place, whether or not a prosecution is going to take place, when they do that, all of the evidence shows bad things happen. You can look in Wilmington in 1898, where a black community was overwhelmingly destroyed. You can look in Atlanta in 1906. You can look in East St. Louis in 1917. In each of these instances, people pretended that the prosecutors had failed to intervene and prosecute people that they wanted, and as a result, they decided to unleash mayhem, not unlike the nearly one plus billion dollars worth of damage that we've seen mm -hmm. in America as a result of so-called riots that were largely or mostly peaceful. It will Horace, never be a good idea to take this approach. Horace, I have to get to a really important issue that I, I wasn't able to raise with Alan. The city recently paid this $27 million settlement to George Floyd's family. Not only did they pay it, they announced it. What is the message there? Doesn't that pollute the juror pool? Doesn't that queer this trial against Chauvin getting a fair one? It absolutely pollutes the pool. In fact, even as they're doing jury selection, they're finding jurors who are aware that this yeah. staggering $27 million award occurred. Let me tell you something that influences people. You could go to a typical black American and say to them, I'll give you $27 million if you just vote to acquit in the Chauvin case. And guess what? You'd get takers. The point is mm. that kind of information and that kind of activity has a negative and deleterious effect. Our system mm. is supposed to say to every person, every person, that they're entitled to a trial that is fair on its terms and not one that is subject to what the mob wants. No. You know, when, when seven of 12 jurors know about that settlement, you can't tell me it's not going to have some impact. Horace, thank you for being here.